Matt Ridley, The Red Queen, Sex and the Evolution of Human Nature Embark on a captivating journey to explore the evolution of human nature through the lens of sex in Matt Ridley's enlightening book, The Red Queen. Ridley unravels the reasons behind our attraction to sex and explains its crucial role in genetic diversity and repairing genes. As you dive into this summary, you'll discover why humans continue to seek sex despite being an inefficient form of reproduction compared to alternatives, like asexual reproduction. The book also delves into the impact of parasitic threats on human evolution and unveils the fascinating reasons behind the emergence of only two sexes. Strap in for an exploration of the ongoing debate between gender differences and equality, as we examine both biological and social influences. Why Humans Love Sex Humans love for sex has evolutionary benefits such as creating genetic diversity and repairing genes. Although other forms of reproduction are more efficient, sex speeds up evolution. Humans still need sex, and the reasons why are explored in the book. The True Threats to Humans Parasites, not predators, pose the greatest danger to humans, making sex essential for genetic diversity in defense against specialized parasites. The world is plagued with danger, but not all threats originate from terror attacks or natural disasters. Creatures like predators, competitors, and parasites pose different risks. While predators may be frightening, the most dangerous of all are parasites. These tiny creatures are a significant factor in human evolution, and their adaptability and sheer numbers make them the deadliest force on Earth. Parasites can learn to attack the immune system of a particular individual of an asexual species, rendering the organism extinct. Asexual species exhibit limited differences from one generation to the next, making them susceptible to specialized parasites. This also explains why monoculture crops like corn or soybeans are vulnerable to devastation. Fortunately, humans have sex, which contributes to genetic diversity, and fights parasites. Sexual reproduction produces different versions of the same genes, including dominant and recessive ones. This genetic system called polymorphism acts like a library of defense strategies. Every gene a person carries, even the recessive ones, sends information to their immune system to respond to parasitic threats. Moreover, research has proved that sexuality is connected to the ability to fend off parasites. A study on the Mexican fish called the top minnow showed that clones were often parasitized, but sexually reproduced top minnows were immune. Curtis Lively, an American researcher, discovered that sex helps fend off parasites in species. Therefore, sex is essential for genetic diversity in defense against specialized parasites. The Evolutionary Origins of Sex the emergence of two sexes in animals can be traced back to microscopic competition and evolutionary pressures. While hermaphrodites were initially common, the development of male killer genes induced a shift toward specialized males and egg-carrying females. Today, sex determination is still influenced by evolutionary needs, with factors like an animal's size or status affecting the sex of their offspring. This can be seen in animal societies like baboons, where high-ranking females give birth to more females, or in humans, where dominant women tend to give birth to boys. The formation of two sexes has allowed for increased specialization and competition, ultimately leading to the survival of the fittest. Natural Differences Between Genders The natural differences between men and women are a fact, and while biology plays a role in these distinctions, society also shapes them. Girls tend to excel in verbal tests, and boys perform better in math and spatial logic tasks. Biology accounts for some of these differences, like the effect of hormones on cognitive development. While social factors also influence evolution, they do not justify sexism. Although men and women differ, the range of differences is greater within each gender than between them. Attempts to eliminate gender roles in certain communities prove unsuccessful. Gender equality and natural differences between the sexes are not mutually exclusive concepts. Beauty is in the eye of evolution. 
Male traits that attract females are indicators of evolutionary advantages, health, and fertility. Beauty is not just a human concept, it exists in the animal kingdom too. From the colorful peacock feathers to the symmetrical tails of swallows, male animals possess unique traits that attract potential mates. Why do they do this? Male traits that are fashionable or attractive have been passed down through generations because of their evolutionary advantages. For instance, red rings on the legs of male zebra finches make them more attractive to females. A gene that causes such a feature would increase their reproductive success and be passed on. Similarly, the sexy sun hypothesis suggests that it's advantageous to females to choose males whose traits are desirable to other females as well. It increases their chances of having offspring that go on to mate with many females and procreate more. Moreover, traits that reflect the health of an organism also increase its chances of reproduction. In other words, if an animal looks healthy, it has access to more potential mates. This is a result of evolution over many generations. Animals that were attracted to healthy mates unconsciously ended up producing resilient and fertile partners who passed those traits on to their offspring. But how do you tell if a mate is healthy? Spectacular and symmetrical features are indicators. For instance, colorful combs in chickens indicate good health, and the tails of male swallows are more symmetrical if they are fit. The handicap theory by Israeli scientist Ahmad Sahavi suggests that males with fashionable handicaps prove their ability to survive while vulnerable. For example, long tails or loud singing make males more prone to predators, but by surviving this threat, females infer that they are in good health. In conclusion, male traits that attract females signal evolutionary advantages, health, and fertility, a fact that has been developed over many generations. The physical beauty of male animals is nature's way of ensuring healthy offspring and a thriving species. The Evolution of Monogamy and Polygamy Humans are primarily monogamous, but polygamy can offer advantages such as the inheritance of quality genes. The animal kingdom also exhibits similar behavior, with males competing for mates and females choosing the most desirable partners. In stratified societies, women may prefer to be one of many wives of a wealthy man rather than the sole wife of a poor man. Both sexes can engage in polygamy, but monogamy eventually prevails due to the monogamy threshold. Males without mates benefit from helping one female raise their young to ensure their genes are passed on. The benefits of monogamy are seen in species like the albatross, where the females require more parental support. While polygamy is mostly prohibited now, understanding its history and evolution teaches us about human behavior and choices. Monogamy and Polygamy The mating style of species impacts the amount of assistance females receive when raising offspring. Monogamy is unique to humans and provides advantages in child-rearing. Multiple partners don't necessarily benefit women in the long term. Even in monogamous relationships, females may seek affairs for access to better genes and higher chances of conception. A study found that female orgasm and impregnation are more likely during extramarital affairs. The optimal system for females is monogamy with the option for affairs. The Evolution of Human Intelligence in Social Settings Humans develop their intelligence through the need to outsmart their peers and gain social status. This was primarily due to the shift of competitive energies towards each other rather than other animals. Jeffrey Miller concluded that the evolution of human intelligence came from the ability to stimulate and entertain others, which led to being more desirable partners. In short, human intelligence evolved because intelligence is sexy. In summary, Matt Ridley's The Red Queen takes you on an insightful journey that explores the impact of sex on human evolution, shedding light on intriguing aspects such as genetic diversity, the fight against parasites, and the emergence of two sexes. The book also addresses the biological and societal influences on human intelligence and gender differences, sparking reflections on monogamy, polygamy, and the varied makeup of human partnerships. Ridley's work will not only provide you with essential knowledge but also stimulate engaging discussions on the role of sex, gender, and evolution in the development of the human species.